Hope you had a good weekend. Hopefully you made it to the track. Let's go ahead and talk about the EB48.4. All right, folks, we're here with August, and we've got the Techno EB48.4s here. I got a set of them that are real similar to each other. August, what do you think about it? Uh, like it. You like it? What's your favorite thing about it? My competition. You like the uh, tires? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. You race AKA? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so I just want to talk a little bit about the buggy here, the EB48.4. I've had this one on the table. This is my race buggy. I've had it for about four months or so. Maybe not that long, maybe three. And I have a lot of time on it. And then this one over here I build up because I liked it so much. August, don't talk too much. Shh. Okay, so she's uh, really wanting to help out today, but she doesn't speak uh, full English yet. Kind of little monkey English. So uh, don't fall back. Sit up. So yeah, this one I build up. Uh, just because I liked it so much and I built it as a spare which brings me my first thing about this buggy They don't break <laughs> like you don't really need a spare But uh, so far in about 40 to 45 maybe even 50 hours with this one right here I have nothing that's broken really just a few wear items. So what you're gonna have to deal with is um, You're gonna have to deal with maybe um, bending one of these drive shafts, I did that once and I, I actually just bent it back in a vise and it's been perfect ever since. Um, bearings, the outer hub bearings, or I'm sorry, the inner hub bearings, they're bigger. Here's the bearings, all the bearings for this buggy. But uh, yeah, you're gonna wanna stock up on these. In the manual, I'll have to look at what size they are. I'll link it in the description, but these bearings right here are gonna go out on you. I did get some uh, Fast eddy bearings and I ended up getting the metal shielded ones and so far so good on those. I think that metal shield gives it a little more rigidity. So that's cool. But uh, anyhow, yeah, the drive shaft bent on me and other than that, I've literally not broke a single part on this thing. I did crack the uh, aftermarket carbon fiber um, shock tower here. You can see I, uh, where's the crack at? I cracked it basically down there where the links connect. Yeah, right there. Cracked that sucker pretty good. So that's trash. But um, the, the DOD designs ones or the Dutch oven designs ones, they're bulletproof. I've had that one on for a full three day event at the RC Pro Series. Uh, and it was absolutely amazing. And it is a lot nicer there having that extra link it links down here but anyhow absolutely an amazing machine um the shocks are awesome i'm running the wiggins shock package you can look that up online but really a cool oh man just awesome feels so good especially i haven't tried it on a really rough beat up track yet but on a smooth clay track it is hands down amazing um, upgrades you might want to do is that DOD shock tower, the Wiggins pistons. Um, and that's the cool thing about this car, uh, aluminum servo horn, definitely get that. And other than that, it's been great. I highly, highly, highly recommend the MKS 599 servo, or if you can't afford that one, get the MKS 550 servo, get the Tekken RX-8 Gen 3. And I've tried the 2050 Tekken motor. I've tried the 1900 and the 1700 and bar none the 1900 is awesome Either a 15 tooth 16 tooth or 17 tooth pinion depending on the track. That's all you're gonna need on your diffs. You're gonna want to have 7,000 or I'm sorry. Yeah 7,000 in the front 7,000 in the center and 5,000 in the rear on the shocks with the Wiggins if it's around 85 90 degrees out You're gonna want 650 weight PT racing oil all around and if it is cooler out you might do like a 600 or a 550 but yeah this buggy has been absolutely sweet to drive the the it just holds up after 50 hours there's what the chassis looks like I know some of the companies like hot bodies have a lot of wear in the rear of the chassis um, my ABCD blocks are still holding up just fine and I've been on a lot of tracks with them 
Uh, all the hardware is awesome. Make sure you get yourself some MIP nut drivers. I'm going to definitely do a video in the future here where I talk about all the tools and stuff that you're going to want to get and stock up on. Uh, definitely get yourself a good charger. The batteries I recommend would be the Phantom Packs. I'm running these Phantom 5800 milliamp um, high voltage low profile packs and they have that foam on the bottom and that's really nice because it soaks up a lot of the it absorbs a lot of stuff but the video is not about batteries i'm just trying to focus here on the techno buggy and i don't know what else to say other than that the thing is absolutely amazing it's a pleasure to build buggy. the buggy. manuals are awesome here's a little look at the techno manual just really 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 nice to build just amazing everything's really easy to find in there and just sweet um i would recommend not running i did try the velcro and i absolutely loved it so i put the velcro strips here and then on my body i just put velcro in the corresponding on the body and holds up amazing um uh, don't have to worry about the body clips stripping out or nothing and i mean this is the body after a full weekend of racing just holds up great every once in a while you're going to get that especially in sportsmen you're going to get people hitting your sides and stuff but i mean just great not having to worry about your body mount holes cracking out or anything like that so that's sweet but yeah if you have any questions about the eb 48.4 please post them and don't feel like you have to talk like everybody at the track that runs a different buggy is going to tell you Oh, this one's great. The Serpent's great. The Hot Bodies is the best. The Mugen's the best. The Techno's the best. The whatever's the best. Um, once you get one, do your homework and get one. Right now, everyone's drinking the Hot Bodies Kool-Aid. Uh, I have a feeling here when the new Techno's come out, which is going to happen soon, they're in the testing phases. Um, you know, everyone might switch back to Techno and or, you know... And all of a sudden, everyone's going to say, oh, you have to have a techno to be fast. It's just pick a car, learn the car. Um, I personally love techno because the people on the techno team are awesome. They're really cool, very helpful, um, and they are super reliable. I love the reliability. I love how beefy everything is. I mean, they're just tanks, and that's awesome to me, not having to worry about breaking anything. Uh, they're built just amazing. You can take a screw in and out of any one of these holes on this car 100, 200 times and not have to worry about anything stripping out. Um, just go ahead and do invest in some nice tools. Get some MIP nut drivers. And don't feel like you need to be upgrading this hardware or anything like that. Everything that comes in a techno kit is top quality. All the links are going to you know, be very strong the everything's gonna last on it so you don't have to upgrade anything hardly which is just awesome and that's not to be said for every car out, out there on the market but i'm not trying to just sales pitch techno i just i really like them um like i said i honestly have not broke anything i've i've uh i have stripped one of these by putting it in and out a million times there's actually a set screw in the side here and then this this uh i forget what you call this but this this guy goes down through your hub here, uh, through your C-hub, and I did strip one of those out. And I could have just kept using it and just used the set screw, but I went ahead and replaced the C-hub. But that's the biggest thing with Technos is they last so long and they don't break for so long that your parts, you know, you just might want to every six months or year replace your arms on them just because why not? They're not that expensive. But... uh yeah, you just end up replacing wear items like shock boots and just really not much. I haven't had anything bend or anything like that other than that one drive shaft. And I have beat the ever-living ever -living crap out of this thing. So, yeah. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And if you have anything you want me to go more in-depth on with this, with this uh, awesome car, the Techno EB48.4, please go ahead and let me know. Do you have any last minute advice for anyone, August? What do you think? Elf. You like it? Elf. Elf? You want to go watch your elf movie? Yeah. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Blow a kiss to Facebook. What is that? Blow a kiss.
Oh, you want to kiss the phone? All right. Cool. CJ Moto approved. August approved. We're out of here. Have a good evening. And they're off. I started 11th place and yeah, worked my way up a little and then worked my way back to 11th place.